Hallelujah. Oh, how long has it been since you just let God touch you, since you just let God fill you, since you just gave it all to Jesus? Amen. I know you got to face the world when you leave here uh, in an hour or so, and you got to face uh, whatever problem you have, uh, whatever need you have. You got to face it. Uh, but we're here in a safe place right now. Uh, we're here in a place where you can get strength. Uh, we're here in a place where you can get faith. Uh, we're here in a place where God can meet your need. Right now, before we receive the offering, I'm going to pray. Uh, I'm going to pray for increase. Uh, I feel this in the Holy Ghost so strongly. Uh, I'm going to pray for increase. Uh, I'm going to pray for more. Uh, I'm going to pray for increase for each and every family, uh, each and every member, e everyone under the sound of my voice. The devil is a liar. You can have more. The devil is a liar. You can have more. Hallelujah. Oh, God, right now, uh, I'm starting right here, uh, Brother Reyes. God, give increase to this family, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, give him more. Uh, give him more uh, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Come on, get next to your brother. Uh, get next to a sister and bless them. Uh, ask God to give them more in Jesus' name. Agree. Agree. Touch heaven, agree uh, that God can give you more. Uh, someone give a, 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 a brother Antonio. Uh, nobody's with him right now. Uh, someone get, come on, get together. Uh, let's agree that God can give us more. <laughs> brother Charlie, give a brother Antonio right now uh, and agree he's right here. Agree that God has more. He's right there. Hey, Amen. Hey man, get together. I mean it. Uh, I'm, this is not just a passing thing. Uh, we're not just, I'm not up here just to say, say stuff to make you feel better. Uh, hallelujah. Brother Gnarly, get with Brother Joshua. Uh, amen. Agree with him. God's got more for that family. God's got more for that family. God wants to give increase to that family right now. Brother Jason, have you met Brother Don? Get next to him. God's got a healing. Hallelujah. Brother Martinez, get with Brother Brian. Hey, man, that's right. Agree, agree, agree. Agree for the, your brother. Agree for your sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop living in doubt. Stop living in fear. Stop wondering whether or not God hears you. He hears you. He knows where you're at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm asking God for a double portion. I'm asking God right now for a double portion. Whosoever will, God, give it to them. A double portion of, of your power. A double portion of faith. A double portion of healing. A double portion of finance. A double portion of souls. Send it to them, Jesus. Send it to him, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Oh, God, we someone, we need to thank God in advance. Hallelujah. Thank him with your praise. Hallelujah. Thank him with your voice. Hallelujah. Thank him with, with your action. Thank him with a little leap or jump. Let's just give God thanks for what he's going to do. Oh, I'm putting it in the bank. I'm putting my praise in the bank right now. I thank you in advance, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hey, man, it feels much better. 
much better. If our ushers would come. Hallelujah. Amen. I didn't do all that to say this, but I'm gonna, I have to say this anyways. We just purchased a new translator system. Amen. It's going to be more sanitary. It's going, to, it's going to work better. We've got 15, but room to grow. We want more. Praise the Lord. We want more. Amen. Praise the Lord. The cost was a measly $400. I was talking to Brother JC about it, and I asked him what's the condition of our translators, and I talked to Brother Brian about it after I talked to Brother J.C., uh, and the condition was bad. And he said, and both of them said, but it's going to cost money. <laughs> what does it? Hallelujah. But I say this, hey, man, with such love and souls, are, there's no money. You can't put money on souls. You can't, you can't put an amount of money on souls. I said, it, it doesn't matter. This is a necessity. We've got to have this. $400, that's nothing. If, if you have a little extra money and you can put in the offering today or Tuesday or next week, amen, to help pay for that, that would be wonderful. God will bless you. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and receive our offering. March to your right. Smile as you give unto the Lord. Those who are going to sing in the special after you give, come on up to the platform. Make yourself. So while we're waiting for um, our drums to be situated and our babies, me and my husband have been talking about David. And I'm hoping I'm not still in his thunder. But David, when they ushered in the presence of God, they said that he took off all of his clothes and he worshiped before the Lord. We call it nowadays crazy praise. But I want to say there was liberty, el libertad, when he worshiped the Lord. When, we, when this group sings today, I pray that you feel liberty. I pray that if you feel the Holy Ghost move and you want to dance in front of the Lord, it doesn't matter who's looking at you or who's around. Just dance. If you feel to shout or to worship or to raise your hands, do so. We're not singing this for you guys to say, oh, that was pretty. Even though they do sound pretty. But I want you guys to worship. I want you guys to feel the Lord in what they sing. Yeah. 
caminos, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Milagroso, abres caminos, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Amen. Let's put our hands together. Uh, hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord just for a few more moments. Uh, let's thank God for what an awesome job uh, they did today. Praise the Lord. Uh, choir. <laughs> I think there's five. I don't know what that is. I know what a quartet is. A choral. Amen. Choral. What a wonderful presence of the Lord when you sing. I want to take this opportunity to thank them, to thank all those who made the service Friday possible. What a success. What a success. Wonderful dinner, wonderful fellowship, most importantly, wonderful word. Two got the Holy Ghost. Uh, God was there in the midst of us uh, as we just came together uh, to worship him. I'm going to say this in the Holy Ghost. There's more to come. Amen. There's, thank you. There's more to come, Hannah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. You may be seated. I am sanctified proud of, of the service that, that we had Friday. I am so elated, so happy how it went. Brother R Romero was very very pleased, very happy. I was happy with his message, how everything worked out, the music, and I'm looking forward to more and more from God. If you haven't caught on yet, I don't limit God. If you haven't figured it out yet, I, I don't know what God's limit is. I just keep pushing for more and more from God. Amen. I want to congratulate someone who prayed for more last Sunday. Now I'm, I know Caleb. I wanted to get his name right because he told me his name was Jacob. <laughs> In the heat of the praying, he, met, he, he messed up and said his name was Jacob because I guess Brother Gary messes his name up a lot, him and his <laughs> brother. <He's laughs> but Caleb, stand up. You got the Holy Ghost uh, Sunday after church. Praise the Lord. More to come. 
more to come. And let me tell you what his attitude was. I want it. He said, I want it. I'm not leaving until I get it, Brother Star. Just like. What I was trying to say earlier was, was simply that. If you want something from God, you're the only one standing in the way. Praise the Lord. You're the only one standing in the way of what you want from God. I want to say something quickly about the service Friday <coughs> and what I felt. And Brother Starr was kind of all over this this morning. I didn't know you was going to teach on that. The day of Pentecost. I want to say this. I, I felt so Pentecostal Friday night. I did. And I'll explain to you why. It's, I've got scripture for it. Acts chapter 2, verse number 1. We, this is not my message, but I just, I just want to give some understanding about our Friday uh, Spanish service that's going to happen once a month at the end of every month. We love to quote this scripture about the day of Pentecost. Acts chapter 2, verse number 1. This is why you don't have the scripture, Sister Emily, I'm sorry. But it's very familiar scripture to Pentecostals. And we call ourselves Pentecostals. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord and in one place. If you want Pentecost, you have to all have the same mind. Amen. And be in the same area. <laughs> you have to come to church. <laughs> Amen. We need to come together as one body at least a couple times a week. Verse number two, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Everybody got the Holy Ghost. Everybody got the Holy Ghost. Everybody spoke in tongues. But God wasn't done. The Bible says in verse number three, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. In verse number four, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, verse five is where I want to bring our attention. And this is why I felt so Pentecostal. Are you guys reading ahead? Of, ahead? <laughs> is it already there? Verse five, and there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation under heaven. They were gathered from all over the world. From everywhere. Speaking different languages. Looking different than one another. Friday, what a blessing it was to see people from all over the world. Together in one place. Worshiping the one true God. <laughs> Pentecostals. <laughs> Amen. Pentecostal. Thank God they had an awesome time a couple thousand years ago uh, in an upper room, uh, and it spilled out into the street. Uh, and when they saw them speaking in tongues uh, and worshiping God, they thought they were drunk. Uh, but Peter began to preach, uh, these men aren't drunk as you suppose. Uh, hallelujah. They're not drunk the way you think they're drunk, uh, but they're on some new wine. Uh, they've got the Holy Ghost and fire. Uh, <laughs> praise God. I wish to God uh, that something would happen in here so that it would spill out into the streets. It would spill out into your home. It would spill out into your family at your job. Oh, to be Pentecostal. Praise God, you may be seated. Hey, man, that's why we're, ha we're going to have this service every, every month. And if, if it grows and turns into something, it's going to get bigger. Praise the Lord. That's up to us. God is willing. Praise God. I feel such a presence, such a power of God. Uh, hey, man, I don't even want to preach. I'd, I'd like to just, <laughs> let's just worship. Uh, let's just seek God. Uh, let's just have an awesome time in the, in the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Maybe I'll see if I can get through this a little quicker just so we can get to the altar service and so we can let God be God. Praise the Lord. If you haven't. Brother Starr kind of laughed at me, I think, last week when I was in the middle of preaching, and, and God told me, stop. 
I don't play around, Brother JC. I don't try to do things that, that I don't try to help the Lord. <laughs> God doesn't need my help. God don't need my preaching. <laughs> he, he, he really doesn't. When he says stop, that means stop. I was right in the middle of a thought and everything, and I felt the impression. He said, okay, that's enough. Like a father telling a son, that, that's enough now. Amen. That's enough. And I said, oh, okay, God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Who knows if I'd have kept going and made it too long and Caleb would have had to go home. Amen. God knows what he's doing. I said that to say this. In the service, if, if you feel the tugging of the Lord, if you feel God speaking to you, man, just do it. Do it. Whatever the Lord is asking you to do, do it. Be obedient. What, that's in my message. We'll talk about that in a minute. Will you stand? <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 9. Starting in verse number 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. And a lot of times preachers stop there, but I'm going to go on to verse number 10. Because I like this verse. But God has revealed them unto us. A little less monitor, bro Brother Brian. I, think, I feel like I'm yelling at myself. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. On your way down, I want you to just listen, just hear this. The best has yet to come. The best has yet to come. You may be seated. do that so I don't have to quit in the middle of my preaching and take a drink of water. That takes skill. You think it's easy? It's not easy. I've done it and dumped it all over myself right in the middle of a Bible study once. And yeah, I had to recover from that. That was, and, and you know, you try teaching a Bible study after you've done something silly <laughs> that you weren't intending on, on doing. Hey Amen. We, we read this, this scripture and a lot of people read it and, and they, they just say, oh, you don't know what God has for you. Uh, let me tell you something. I actually do know a little bit about what, what God has for me because I got his spirit in me. Uh, amen. I got his word. Uh, hallelujah. And I know a little bit about how God's character is and, and, what, and what God wants to do uh, in my life and in other people's lives. Uh, I don't want to limit God uh, to what's happening right now. I don't want to limit God to what happened last Sunday. Uh, but, amen, I want to see more. I want to see more of God. Uh, I want to know more of God. Uh, I want to see things uh, that, I, Brother Star, you've been in this a long time. Uh, hallelujah. But let me tell you, you haven't seen everything. He's got some testimonies. Uh, he's got some stories about what God has done. Uh, but let me tell you, you have not seen it all. Praise, praise God. And, I, and your pastor hasn't seen it all. Hey, man, I, I look like I'm, I know I look like I'm 24, but really, I'm just kidding. But really, but really, I'm, I'm 44, uh, and I feel like that's a long time. I feel like I've been alive for, for a long Stop laughing so hard. I see some, I'm going to have a meeting after church about that. Hey, man, when I tell the joke you're supposed to laugh, you laugh. When I, that was a serious thing, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I haven't seen everything that God has. Uh, I haven't experienced everything that God has for me. Uh, but the spirit, uh, if I could just get a little bit of a prayer life, uh, if I could just get a little bit of a, a fasting life, uh, if I could just get a little bit more into the word of God and grow up a little bit, hallelujah, and be, be ready to receive the meat of the word of God, uh, the scales can come off my eyes uh, and I could begin to see the great things that God has for me and this church and for you and your family and for those that are far off, those that we don't even know are coming, but they're on their way because as the song says, even though you don't know it, he's working. 
Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Uh, the, this scripture was written, these two verses were written in the context that the apostle, he was explaining to uh, this, the Corinthian church, he was saying, look, the world doesn't have God's wisdom. The world can't see like we can see. The world can't understand the way I can understand. Let me give you an example. When you go to the doctor, Brother Star hit on it this morning. When you go to the doctor and they say, oh, you've got cancer. And you say, well, let me call the church and get them to praying. They're looking at you like, what's that going to do? Because they don't know. They may know. Some, some may know. There's some saved doctors, thank God. There's some full of the Holy Ghost. But a lot of them have no idea that God is a healer. But you're about to know. My wife's mother, and I've got many testimonies about, about God healing. She went to, I remember she went to the doctors months, uh, years ago, uh, and they said she's got cancer. Guess what we did? We went to praying. We went to fasting. Guess what happened? She went back to the doctor. The doctor reexamined her, and he, this is the words he said, what cancer? What cancer? You see, uh, when you begin to mature in Christ, uh, hallelujah, and you got a friend that comes to you, and they say they've got this problem, and they got that problem, you can say, you know what, I know a God. You may not know him, but I know him, uh, and I can... Hallelujah, with the faith uh, and the things I've seen uh, and the things I've done, uh, let me lay hands on you. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, be healed, uh, be delivered. Uh, God, provide the answer. Uh, God, make a way where there seems no way in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. That's what I'm talking about, church. Uh, we got to get to the place uh, in our walk with God uh, that we're in tune with the Spirit, uh, that we're in tune with the Holy Ghost. Because uh, verse 10 said, but God has revealed unto you the things. If you read that in another translation, it says the things that he wants to lavishly give you. Hallelujah. There's a lot of us today, uh, and we're living under. We're living below. Hey, man, we're living, we're, we're, we're living like, like we're stepchildren. And I'm not saying you should treat stepchildren wrong. You definitely shouldn't. It's just the same. You're, hey, man, we're, 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 we're living as if uh, we don't know Jesus, as, as if Jesus isn't our father, as if, uh, hey, man, you don't have a relationship with him. Where are you going with this, Pastor? I'm saying you need to get everything you can get from God. If that means giving up some things in this world, then give it up. Only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Only Jesus can satisfy your soul. There was a, there was a woman, she was diagnosed with a terminal illness. And remember, I'm teaching the best is, is yet to come. She was diagnosed with a, with a terminal illness, and she had been given just three months to live. As she was getting her things in order, she contacted her pastor, and she asked him to, to come to her house to discuss some of her final wishes. She told him which songs she wanted sung at her funeral service. She told him the scriptures that she would like to be read. She pointed out to the outfit, the dress that she wanted to wear when she passes away. She requested to be buried with her favorite Bible. That's one I would say, just give that Bible away. <laughs> Amen. As, her, as the pastor prepared to leave, the woman suddenly remembered. She said, hold on a second. She said, wait, one more thing. She said, exciting, she said excitedly, one more thing. The pastor said, what is it? She said, this is important. I want to be buried with a fork in my right hand. She wants a fork in her right hand. The pastor stood looking at the woman, not knowing quite what to say or to do. And then she began to explain. In all my years of attending church, social meetings, potluck dinners, when the dishes of the main course were being cleared away, 
when the dinner was being cleared away. She said her favorite part, uh, somebody would lean over to her. I'm sorry. Somebody would lean over to her and say, keep your fork. Keep your fork. This was, she said this was her favorite part of the meal because she knew something better was coming. She knew that there would be some velvety chocolate cake or a deep dish apple pie or, or yeah, some, or some lemon cake that you could have with your coffee. She knew something better was coming. So when people see me in that casket, she told her pastor, with a fork in my hand, they're going to ask, what's the fork for? I want you to tell them, keep your fork. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Will you stand up just for a moment? I feel like we need to shout. I feel like we need to worship God. I feel like we need to give God some thanks. You may have had some good dinners. You may have had some good things with God. You may have seen some, some awesome miracles. You may have seen some people get the Holy Ghost you didn't think was going to get the Holy Ghost. You may have seen some people get baptized. You didn't think would ever get baptized. You may have seen some people live for God. You didn't think we're going to live for God. But I want to tell this church. First Apostolic Church of Mount Morris, uh, the best is yet uh, to come. You haven't seen it all. You haven't seen it all. God has things preparing. Uh, if you would get in the Holy Ghost, uh, if you would let God tell you. Oh, God, call some dancers to this church, God. Uh, call some leapers to this church, God. Uh, call some shouters to this church, God. Praise God. Uh, I Hallelujah. 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 I think we're going to have to turn the heat down. Uh, hey, man, it's getting warm in here. Uh, hallelujah. We want to save money on the heat bill. Uh, just shout a little bit. Uh, just worship a little bit. Uh, just get moving just a little bit. Hallelujah. Hey, man, while I got you standing, uh, Brother J.C., at the Friday, this is the one thing I want us to work on. Uh, at, the, at the Spanish service, uh, he called everybody to the altar to worship the Lord. Uh, he got about three or four people. Hey, man, as a pastor, I'm, uh, I got to say some things sometimes. Uh, let me tell you, when the man of God is up here and he asks you to come to the front of the altar to worship God, I want the church to come and worship God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. If King David uh, would take off his royal gown uh, and dance every six steps uh, as they begin to take off, uh, he didn't even have the presence of the Lord. <laughs> he didn't have God inside of him like we do. All he had was some box that they said God was inside of. Oh, but God has chosen this earthen vessel. God has chosen this earthen vessel. When David wrote those words, praise him in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Listen to your pastor. He was being prophetic. He was being prophetic. He wasn't just talking about the sanctuary on earth. But the Bible says, what? Know ye not that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Hallelujah. 
You're wondering what got in the pastor. Uh, I'm tired of just coming to church uh, and just a little hand clap uh, and just a little worship uh, and just and then a little fellowship and then go home, uh, rinse and repeat and do it again. Uh, but I want more from God. Uh, hallelujah. I want more from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Uh, I want more. I want more. I want more. And I know that the best has yet to come. I know it. The best has yet to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. I need someone right now to pray in the Holy Ghost. I need someone right. I need an intercessor to let God use you. Hey, man, I need someone who knows the Lord, who knows that God is calling you to more, who knows that God is working on your heart. Begin to pray. Begin to lift up your hands. God, you're bigger than any distraction. Uh, God, you're bigger than any sin. Uh, God, you're, big, you're bigger than any failure that you may have. Uh, God is bigger than that failure. God is, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Ghost, take over. Uh, oh, God, this is your service. Uh, oh, God, uh, hallelujah. We've got, this is your church. God, this is your body. Hallelujah. 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 I just skipped to the end of my message. You haven't prayed your best prayer yet. Let me tell you something. You think you have, but you haven't even prayed your best prayer yet. God's got a prayer for you that's going to change the course of a city. It's going to turn something upside down. You're going to pray cancer away. Hallelujah. You're going to pray addiction away. You haven't prayed your best prayer yet. It's coming. It's coming. Hallelujah. 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 <coughs> Come on, stay in the Holy Ghost. Come on, intercessor. Keep praying. Hallelujah. You haven't shouted your best shout yet. You haven't worshipped your best worship yet. You think you have. You think you've done it all. But God's got some more for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you've never jumped. Maybe you've never ran. Maybe you've never danced. But God's got it for you. He's calling you to greater worship. The best. Has yet to come. You haven't taught. You haven't taught your best Bible study yet. Uh, hallelujah! You, you haven't taught. Uh, hallelujah! You haven't preached your best message yet. Uh, Sanger, you haven't sung your best song yet. Uh, you think you have, uh, Corral? Uh, that's great. You did so good. Uh, but oh my God, I see more, uh, and I see more, and I see more, and I see more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your best miracle, uh, you haven't seen it yet. Uh, hallelujah, it's coming, uh, it's coming. Uh, that convert, uh, you haven't won your best convert yet. Uh, there's a, no, somebody else waiting for you uh, to witness, waiting for you to share the gospel uh, with them, uh, waiting for you to tell them how good Jesus is. Uh, there's somebody else, uh, you haven't won your best convert yet. Hallelujah. Hey, man, when God answers a prayer, we call it a win. When God answers a prayer, we call it a win. Let me tell you, you haven't had your best win yet. There's more to come. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, man, come on. Hallelujah. 
Let's get in the Holy Ghost. Uh, this is it. Uh, this is the altar call. This is it. Uh, this is where it's going to happen right here. Uh, this is where it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen. That's it. Prophesy. Uh, come on. That's it. Minister to one another. Uh, this is where it's, there's a, hallelujah. This is it. Uh, it's going to happen. God, uh, uh, hallelujah. God, you're going to put a family back together again uh, that nobody saw coming, uh, that nobody thought would ever happen. Uh, nobody thought it would work out. Uh, but it's going to be a miracle, and we're going to work worship you for it. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. And that oro he had a sata, shondoro sata. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God, uh, we welcome the gifts of the Spirit uh, into this place, God. Uh, word of wisdom, uh, word of knowledge, God. Uh, oh, God's tongues and interpretation, uh, the gifts of healings, God. Uh, the working of miracles, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, God, give me my best intercessor, God. Give me my best prayer warrior, God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Oh, Shando, Iro Sata, Iko Shando, Iko Rosata, Shando Rosata, Iro Rosata. In the name. Praise God. It's here right now. God just spoke to me. Stop. He said, stop talking about what I'm going to do. I'm doing it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's doing it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's keep... Uh, this atmosphere. There's a second wave coming. There's a second wave of the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. Uh, there's a second wave of a working of the Holy Ghost, uh, a move of God. Uh, some are in tune to it. That's not everybody. That's okay. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that are in tune. Uh, oh, we magnify you, God, uh, for what you're about to do. Uh, hallelujah. For the Holy Ghost that he's about to receive. Uh, we worship you. We thank you in advance. That's it, Caleb. You pray for him. Hallelujah. You pray with him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we expect it, Lord. We expect it, Lord. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to give an opportunity for anybody who needs prayer. Uh, Brother JC, where you at? He's right here. <laughs> Come on up, Brother Martinez. Uh, stand over here, Brother Star. When you're Brother Star, if, if we need you up front. If anybody needs prayer, hallelujah. hallelujah. If anybody has a special unspoken uh, or some miracle or something you need God to do, uh, amen, we're going to open up this altar, this portion right here for you to come and get prayed for. Yes. Okay. Amen. We're going to pray for Brother JC. Hallelujah. Now this is Pentecost. Hey Amen. This is Pentecost. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyone else? Praise the Lord. I feel this in the Holy Ghost, and I'm not calling anybody out. Can I get some ladies to pray around Sister Grace? Hallelujah. Okay. Can I get some ladies to pray around Sister Grace? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. There's a, there's a need. There's a deep heart. <laughs> God is speaking right now. Hallelujah. There's a heart issue. Uh, hallelujah. Come on. This is, it's okay. This is, this is just the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is it. This is it. Oh, that's
That's the sound of healing. That's the sound of healing. That's the sound of restoration. That's it. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just give it to Jesus. Just give it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. Let God do the deep work. Hallelujah. Let God do the deep thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Whether you are aware of it or not, the gifts of the Spirit were here. Hallelujah. The word of wisdom and the word of knowledge was, act, was active in the service here today. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I believe that there were healings. Amen. I'm claiming it. There were healings. Praise the Lord. Uh, when we hear the word healings, we think it's always physical. It's not always physical. You still got prayer requests. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray for Sister Denora and Brother Martin. Martin. Amen. I like it when, uh, when God's part of the service is longer than, than my message. That's okay with me, Sister Selena. Because <laughs> I can't heal you. I can't deliver you. I can't save you. I can't do anything. Hallelujah. But God can do it all. Praise the Lord. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Whatever you got left, uh, whatever voice you got left, uh, hallelujah. Let's just say thank you, Jesus. 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 Praise God. If God has done something marvelous and wonderful for you, I want to hear about it. I want the church to hear about it. I want you to tell. I want you to tell. Tell on the Lord. There was one incident in the Bible where God healed somebody and he told them not to say nothing at all. Remember that story? He healed this man. He said, now don't tell nobody that I did this. You know what that man said? He said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Bible says the next scripture, he said, he went and blazed it about. <laughs> as soon as uh, Jesus left the room, he said, you won't believe what this man did for me. I'd like our church to be like that. Tell everybody, put it, let's use Facebook and Twitter and Tweeter and tw what are all that stuff, in in Instagrammies. Let's use all that for something good, something positive. Tell people what's happening in Mount Morris. How the, amen. Let's do that. Praise the Lord. What an awesome time and awesome presence we've had. Uh, Brother Starr wants to close this out. I will tell something God did last Friday. Or Thursday, my daughter, my oldest daughter, Renee, left her work and went to the hospital in Lapeer. She was in extreme pain all day long. Checked herself into emergency room. Then she called us, and I wanted to head to the hospital. It's only two miles away, three. And she said, no, Dad, you have a busy things going on, things going on. You have service tonight. You have a funeral tomorrow. Dad, you're busy. Don't come to the hospital. Just pray for me. So you know what I did? I prayed for her. We prayed, my wife and I prayed into the night. They kept her overnight. But I want you to know that, that they, they didn't know what they were going to do. This kidney stone was of a size. They weren't sure what they were going to do. And they kept her overnight. But at 6 o'clock in the evening, she passed the kidney stone. And she told me Friday night when I was, she knew I was coming to church, she said, don't get in the pulpit and talk about me. But I want you to know I'm not talking about her at all. She's my daughter. She's beautiful and she's mine. But you know what? God healed. God healed. That's God. That's God. You know why? The other day I was going through some pictures, and I found a picture of her in her dedication dress when she was a tiny baby. We gave her to the Lord 48 years ago this last January 3rd. We gave her to the Lord. She's been filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized in Jesus' name. She's not in church all the time like she needs to be, but she's going to be. She's going to be. And you know what? One thing that she notices about this church that everybody is showing forth love and friendliness and kindness. 
We have got to love people. Amen. Now, I wasn't even going to say all that, but he said if God's doing something, I'll tell it. So I told it. Now I have a advertisement, and I don't do politics in the pulpit, so don't worry about that. I have an advertisement, and it's not paid for. It belongs to you. The little birdie with the yellow bill hopped up on my windowsill. He cocked his shiny eyes and said, Wake up, you little sleepy head. I rubbed my sleepy eyes and said, Who's a little sleepy head? He flapped his wings and away he flew, saying, Don't be late for Sunday school. Sunday school starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, you heard the pastor say that God wants to give you extra blessing. Being here at 10 o'clock in the morning will give you extra blessing. You can take you can take a nap after church. We do. My wife and I go home in the afternoon and take a nap. Old people do that. But Sunday school is important. Everybody ought to go to Sunday school. The men and the women, the boys and the girls, everybody ought to go to Sunday school. We have a brand new Sunday school here, and it's doing well, but it will do better if you are here. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Pastor. All right. Shake hands, be friendly, and come back. Lord, keep us working all day long, Jesus. Uh, you on the inside, working on the outside, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We ask you, Lord, keep us, Lord. Bring us back to the appointed service. Be with those that could not be here this morning, Jesus, in your name. Amen.